Tony, maybe a bit of Bunsy, a bit of Eddie. We'll go for a bit of Tony. Here we go. Um, is this a new career for you uh, after you finish boxing to maybe be a pundit? I believe to be a pundit, you have to have really achieved and done something in your career. So for me, at the moment, am I a viable pundit? Maybe not. But do I know about boxing? Yes, I do. How good is David Price? The heir to the Klitschko throne. People think I'm crazy when I said it. I said it a long time ago. But uh, it is what it is, mate. He is he is just the best. He's the best heavyweight in Europe, mate. Without a shadow of a doubt, the only people I'd, I'd think twice about putting him in with is Vladimir Klitschko. I'd put him in with Vitaly tomorrow. And I really genuinely mean that. Do you sincerely think he's the best we've got in this country uh, what potentially wise or right now I believe he's the best in the country now and I believe he's the best by a country mile you know okay we've got another heavyweight out there than Tyson Fury who make no mistake has improved is not a bad fighter but when you boxing for me is all about levels and David Price is on another level possibly even in a totally different stratosphere to Tyson Fury he is that he, there's, the golfing class is that big and if they got in the ring you would see the golfing class so, you know, for me, David Price is the best in the country. I believe he's already the best in Europe. He, it's just, he just wants, he just needs a big fight. But, you know, listen, baby steps, because what's the rush? I believe we've got the best heavyweight in the world, the heir to the Klitschko throne. What, there's no need to rush it. You know, take your time, breed it, and let him come through properly. Yeah, take your time, Price. Though. It's still on for you. <laughs> he was right anyway. He, David Price was in a totally different stratosphere to Tyson Fury. We can all agree on that one. Most right. of his losses, yeah. he was in a totally different stratosphere <laughs> to the opponent, wasn't he? And, <laughs> and he, he was correct about him inheriting the Klitschko throne. It just happened that he purchased it in an eBay auction. <laughs> it was their toilet, you know. Oh, I turned Frank Maloney into a woman. Shame. But that's a good clip, Andy. I like playing that one. Stop it, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear there we go anyway belly of the weeks 452 first one here the doctor has been throwing in his thd phd Ooh. information he says my take this is on lopez cambosis i vehemently disagreed with the judge's perspective and conviction how on earth did they score the bout and declare cambosis the winner over tiafimo lopez scored a knockdown it should have been a draw a draw, a draw at least. <laughs> There's a draw, you bleeding drongo. <laughs> they give it a cambousis. <laughs> Doctor Joss. Come on, what the fuck was he watching? Holy shit. You should re record an Australian rap, Rob. Your fucking Aussie accent is fucking dead on. <laughs> so I can't do one. I can't do one. <laughs> <laughs> The phoenix is rising. Uh, doctor's uh, credibility is not rising, though. Here we go. Damien sent us this uh, to nuttestpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, comment in the chat below Khan versus Brooke. His space ghost said, glass jaw versus glass orbitals. May the best glass win. <laughs> Between the boys there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Brooke is open as a slight favorite, by the way. Minus 160. We'll be talking about it. Come next. Who February. gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? It's going to be fight? fun, Rob. Come on! Oh fucking hell! Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ! Is it going to be fun? Like? Just because you're married doesn't mean the rest of us can't have joy in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> post fight pod, Matthew. Should do a post fight pod. <laughs> fucking a! Fucking a! I bet it will be banging. I bet it would be banging. I'm going to say I'm not above a post fight pod for Khan versus Brock. Come on, boys, get on board. Now here's one man who's not happy about the fight taking place. Shit fight, shit fight, says Eddie. And Leonard N of LB is getting stuck in on Eduardo anyway. This is Ooh. the last time I'm going to address this pathological liar, says LB. Haney is an excellent fighter, but this guy just lies for no reason. Bigger fight, you've sold less than 4,000 tickets in a 15,000 seat venue. Tank did more than that in his pre-sale before tickets went on sale. Oh, he's calling him a pathological liar, Andy. Such, such a disgraceful slurs on Eduardo. And then Eddie responds by saying, uh, I'm rent free in your head. So he likes to kind of like, you know, obviously the old bait. But yeah. um, <clears throat> Att attack the messenger, not the message. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was I had a good laugh to myself last night, though, when people were mentioned. Did anybody think it was too dark in the arena last night? Well, obviously, no, because they're obviously they're mentioning the fucking lightning that as well. Eh? So, what's what you should do in Sky, mate? Oh, the lightning effects and that. But this time, the dark it to make sure, to, to make you sure, make you see that there wasn't many people in there and that. They were like, oh, it's stacked in here tonight. The, the, the roof's about to go off this place. 
Like Eddie, man, Eddie's telling the people to fucking speak this shit, probably. But uh, yeah, four thousand tickets. Big, big, big Leonard, the uh, big Leonard, the fucking nasal is in there, fucking telling <laughs> Eddie. Was properly socially. He's distanced. a good guy, isn't he? LRB. He's a nice, he's a likable guy. <laughs> nice guy. Growing on me. But yeah, uh, calling out fucking you know the fucking Burns victim there with the fucking quiff hair doing that. So I uh, anything yeah, you know, Eddie taking L's. That's, uh, that's 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 quite good. That's quite good. At the end of the day, though, Javonta Davis is doing okay for himself, but he knows what he wants to do if he wants to make the big books. So in ten days' time, touch wood, the zone have the entire roster of middleweight world champions. So people like Charlo, you ain't, you've no fights for you. If you want to be a world middleweight champion, you better join the zone ASAP. So that was ten days ago, mate. I remember like two thousand and ten <laughs> days later. <laughs> <laughs> They've had about three price increases since then, haven't they? <laughs> we had we had we had the announcement that Tyson Fury and Josh Anthony Joshua had agreed. So it, there's a the key word: agreed to meet. <laughs> they spent the next fucking year not making the fight. Fuck me, man. This guy. This fucking guy. Love a bit of Eduardo. There was a bit of back and forth on this next one between Greg Cross and Toby Hines. I didn't get involved in the beef, but uh, Floyd says Canelo is ducking Benavides. So Greg Cross says Bell you of the week for saying Canelo is ducking Benavides. The thing is, sometimes, Andy, we've mentioned this before, whenever Bob won it for calling um, Coppinger a little prick. It, the the Bell of the Week winner isn't the recipient isn't necessarily always the victim. It's just yeah. generally it could be a funny thing or some shit talking or something they've said or someone else has said. You know, it's not it's not a clear science. No, I know, but uh, yeah, clearly can't be a fight in the gay bar though. Fuck us <laughs> yeah, fans, yeah, fans. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Floyd forgets or conveniently forgets that he says that Javonte Davis isn't going to be fighting. Uh, L- Lomachenko, I think he called him because nobody knows who Lomachenko is apparently. So uh, I, that was, that was a big swerve that he had. I, Floyd, ducking and diving. Uh, talking of ducking and diving, here he is. Uh, Eddie Hearn, been nominated by Charlie Taylor. Eddie adds the wrong person on an Instagram live. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he was up to here, but the wrong person got added onto the Instagram live there uh, from Eduardo. Uh, Gamma Price has nominated Joe Laws. Here's a few clips of my last fight, baby steps and that 100%. It was Tuckies. Amir Khan. It was Amir Khan. He had, it. he had to turn him off real quick. <laughs> he was tick-tocking away, Khan, there. Uh, Joe Law's getting nominated by Bryce there. Here we go, boys. This is an absolute cracker coming in here from Lewis Deeks. Father-in-law has made this. I'm a massive fan of Anthony Joshua. Let me know what you think, champ. Hashtag road to a dispute. Hashtag Eddie Hearn. Let's have, another, let's have a closer look. Here we go. <laughs> Stay humble, man. Stay humble. Why does, it like character? Con- Why does it look like it's wearing Confederate flag gloves? <laughs> Why has he got a boxing glove and a boxing pad on, by the way? Fuck What's his feet? Like, he's got metals. a Lego neck, though. Look at the Lego neck he's got. It's like a life-size Rock'em Sock'em robot. <laughs> Fucking fucking model, by the way. That's just his dad put a head on a gas cylinder. What's going on there? Like, <laughs> fucking, um, got, why has he got Joe Joyce's vest on him as well? With all the hats on it. I want to know. Bell, what, think, actually. I want to know when people will quit acting like all black people look alike. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Just well, because that fella black looks like mean it's Anthony no Joshua. black person. I'm not gonna say <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to you know, half black ish. Looks. I tell you what. Look at the who did the eyes. Look it looks, like, t- looks like fucking Tommy Fury when he was in that nightclub a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Tommy Allen. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Badu Jack knocked up a chick when he was in Sweden. Maybe. <laughs> I know. I mean, I know I said Joshua had cement for feet, but fuck me, this is taking it too far. Look at the fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Dyson Hoover, possibly. It wouldn't it be hilarious if you fucking did it, had an Anthony Joshua voiceover for selling this as a Hoover. It'd be hilarious, man. <laughs> never let fucking, never let what? the sitting room set you back. You know what I mean? state of that kitchen, by the way. I think there's a lot of paint in there. What is this, Steve? Like three months old because he's got a world championship belt. Yeah, WWE, though. December 2020. Oh, okay. Okay. He's okay. Okay. It's, been good it's Hoover, right? good to see someone put the first lockdown to good effect anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, you know what the worst thing is? is people down the pub going, "Man, you should make a business out of this. Why don't you do Connor yeah. Ben? Do Connor Ben? <laughs> <laughs> your, your stimulus dollars hard at work. 
he does you bank it is just a fucking microwave is a head on a microwave it just opens up and gives you a pop tart <laughs> I'd say by the look of it he could be doing ebony next or something where's ebony bridges version <laughs> you could you could, you could do, it. It's do just... ebony and film you could do ebony... Isaac Law you could do Isaac Law and just build a big machine you know <laughs> the ebony bridges one is just that model there with a blonde wig on it and a phoenix drawn on the leg. I dread to think what they'll be doing to that model, to be honest with you. Uh, it, you know, it's just that model on some bridge going over the creek. It's, it's, it's ebony oh. bridges. You know, it's... Well done, Matty. Fucking hell. Time to move on. <laughs> Time to Come move on. on. Come on. Right. Michael Woods. Michael Woods uh, tweets says, I wasn't sure if George Cambosas maybe got into a co-promotional deal with Matching Boxing. I asked Eddie Hearn. No, we are not promoters of Cambosos. Ludi Bello is a sole promoter, I believe. And Peter Kahn is the manager, said Eddie Hearn. He believes, typical Eddie, says Ludi Bella. No, he knows. And Eddie promoted because the purse bid defaulted to Eddie. Why would you think that there might be a co-promotional deal? What gave you that? Who gave you that impression? Just asking. Hashtag boxing. So going in on Eddie there. And look who jumps in. Lewis Deeks of Anthony Joshua model fame <laughs> jumps in here. <laughs> and he says, saw loser because Eddie is smashing America and Dazone are great. Honest to God. Oh, a double one for him, oh, aren't they? Oh, I can't wait to see the fucking Eddie Hearn model, man. Can't wait to see that one. <laughs> then what is Mexico doing to Eddie Hearn? Oh, Eddie, yeah. Eddie, they're just planting lies to get resp- you know, respouted. Fucking hell. Wow. He's, he's got this shit. You couldn't give that cunt a red name a blowtorch, man. <laughs> Terry, Terry would find nominating Eddie there. And next nomination, yes, it was for us, boys. Getting blocked last week numerous times by DAZN and goodness knows who else. Bastards. (laughs) We took took a big L, didn't we, there, Rob, last week? Big L, man. Big L like Leonard Ellerby. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, we've bounced back stronger. Well, you know, I suppose Andy, wait till 10 to 11 tonight to see if we have. Legs are are shaky, Steve. Legs are shaky. (laughs) Just make sure your your phone's not silent, mate. I know, yeah. And didn't oh, switch off when you go to bed either. Yeah, I might no, phone no. you anytime. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, here we go. Paluka Pete has nominated Montana Love. No wonder he weighed in four pounds overweight. Uh, him and his dog weighed in. He had the dog up on the ringside. Matty, did you see that straight afterwards? I'd be a bit in that Yeah, the dog. dog's <laughs> fucking adorable. It's a French bulldog. <laughs> I think you're That's right, fucked Andy. up bringing the dog into that. That's <laughs> fucked up bringing the dog into it. I don't know what you have against dogs, but you know what? This is two thumbs down for Maddie. Boo. Uh, I've got nothing Game against Frenchy. dogs, but there maybe shouldn't be uh, boxing events being weighed in. Do you not think? No. Why There's not? the dog now. <laughs> it, it's not like it's a it's a merciless killer kind of dog, you know. It's a, it's a little French uh-huh. bulldog, you know. I, I mean, dread course... to think what Derry Cooper's going to do to that photograph. It would have been amazing. It would amazing. See how Eddie's looking away there. If the dog just sort of ran up and pissed on his leg. Just for the <laughs> You, you you might have a fair point though if he was fighting Isak Cruz because that bulldog might very well be able to bite his nuts off. Oh, is, what's that dog's best one, by the way? <laughs> I think he's been feeling Montana's love, and uh, um, <laughs> maybe maybe doesn't, doesn't Montana Love sound like a porn star name, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. Or, or is that the working oh, title oh. for Brokeback Mountain? Poor Montana, he's getting it rough this weekend. Not for Maria Matthews. Uh, Getting At Mighty Mage 1987, Devin Haney has a hype man. What is this? The fucking 70s. Hashtag <laughs> hype man church. And here he is, Devin yep. Haney's hype man church. <laughs> Looks like Rev Ron. What the fuck is <laughs> sitting in the bath with the fucking Blackberry giving out speeches at the end? What the fuck is this, man? Eddie said that there's not this, this is not just a fucking uh, publicity stunt, by the way. This is psychological warfare. He's getting into Diaz's head, this guy, George. <laughs> I don't know, man. Does it, I don't think I'd be scared of charge, put it that way. I don't think, I, I don't think there's much, if I was a fighter, I don't think there's much he could do to rattle me. I love Christmas in Harlem, dude. Church, it's the kids. Like maybe the new crocodile fish. Church needs Russell. Father Dave, like Father Dave needs church. <laughs> Oh, Father Dave, who might be featuring actually Father Dave in our Bellew of the Year, which is coming up over the next oh, couple of weeks. God, Don't forget, I've, I've been saving the Bellew of the Week's videos and the winners for every week since January. So we're going to be doing a Bellew of the Year. Andy, time to be confirmed. I might as well give that a plug now. Father Dave may or may not appear. I believe he'll appear, mate. He's a priest, you know. Oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a value of the year with all the videos, and we're not gonna play any of them. We're just gonna talk about what's in the videos because we can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fifteen hour long show. <laughs> no, you can't even do that. It would be glorifying it. 
<laughs> I love this one coming up by Ben Shalom. Glorifying violence. Yeah, uh, Terry's got nominated here. Ben Shalom ended Eddie Hearn in under six months. Frank is still trying. Man Like Chin's nominated it. Ben Shalom dishing out some else for Eddie here. Andy. Oh, mate, I love that because like Eddie's been trying to make can against Brook for like 10 years. He's out the door 10 minutes and the fight gets fucking made. <laughs> Are you suggesting that Eddie is the problem here, Andrew? Oh, of course, mate. Of course not. Of course he is. A fucking... Because hey, you know what it's all about? Money. Eddie was wanting remunerated from Sky if promoters were doing well by selling out shows, etc., etc. He claimed that Sky weren't putting the money up for these events, possibly, and that. But, see, the money seems to be there, Eddie. Evening. Money's there. Chase Athletics, by the way, one of our American correspondents, uh, says Church was also in the Zab Judah camp back in the day, so there you go. From uh, Mike Tyson to Zab to Church to Devin Haney, there's the lineage, Rob. It worked out well anyway for Zab. <laughs> Yeah, so, sure, it's gonna go just as well for Devon Eddie. Lying sleeping drunk in the fucking car. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, that, that's an interesting one. Well, actually, Zab was because, a, hell of a fighter, man. Yeah, well, I was gonna say though, uh, do you remember at the time whenever Floyd was coming up and Zab was coming up? Zab, by a few people, was expected to be kind of what Floyd turned out to be. So Devon Haney could be on the wrong road here. He could be, he's being compared with Floyd, could end up as Zab, but that, that's okay. Zab, Zab was in love with the streets, funny. That's, that yeah. was his downfall. Like, he, he was definitely fucking, he definitely didn't hit his apex, I don't think. No, hit everything else. Here we go. Dominic Henry. He didn't accept Jesus earlier in his career. Oh, well, he's accepted it now. Uh -huh. uh, Dominic Henry, excruciating out his own and Haney himself for trying to cultivate this ridiculous comparison to his own <laughs> boxing, following in the footsteps of an all-time great. Here we go. So at 23 and 24, they're both 60, 26 and 0 world titles, age at first world title. It's all going into plan here, Rob. Well, the, the, the main difference is one of them was a fucking killer and the other one isn't anywhere near us and that's the fucking that's as plain as I can put it Floyd at fucking that at that age was an absolute killer um an, an unbeatable fighter probably at that at that time did you see and... Haney dropping fucking uh Corrales five fucking times no 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 maybe dropping his jock strap as he's carrying it to the ring from um no this is what, and as I said, what in the fucking Daz own marketing department is this? What the fuck is that? Like, stop doing that to Devin Haney, by the way. Will you leave him alone? You haven't believed it. You've seen the fucking videos. He's throwing the money around and everything. He actually, he's looking at that little screen grab and he's thinking, yeah, yeah, I'm going to make smart investments. All my opponents are a hell of a fighter, but I'm, you know what I mean? He's just, he's believing the hype. Like, the hype is real. Uh, Arthur Dane, that's Brian King, has nominated George Ferocious Cambosos. When you're getting the love from Jake Paul, you know you're doing something right. Thank Ooh. you, brother, for the board. Your time on December the 18th when he fights Tommy Fury. Many half-drunk 20-year-old women have felt similarly, George. <laughs> no doubt they have. Eddie Hearn again. Here we go. Better Q. MP says, if you get Eddie out the sport, the whole sport dies. Hope this helps. Better for says, this is him talking about Eddie Hearn. Yeah, hell. <laughs> the whole sport, sport. Okay, oh, Aaron just can, finally man. kills over. Ah. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Good old Eddie. Uh, here we go. Another one then. Nang2942 has nominated Jade Taylor. He says, Amazing to think George Cambosa supported off against Tiafimo Lopez. I was adamant on the nightly. Selby beat him in the last encounter and was robbed. Uh, what about this one then? Hey, uh, real he... quick. I oh. think I think that Nang guy is uh, somebody that kicked my ass playing uh, Fight Night online, and he started bullshit, and I told him about the podcast. Oh, very good. So you've brought him along then from the world of online gaming? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's so, sounds like a real sounds like a real stud. This guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Glad to have him on board. <laughs> hey, a few hours a week playing video games. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. <sighs> Hashtag fuck the listeners. Uh, the Boxing Nutters Messenger Board. Mitch Chinny has produced this one. Oh, get, uh, what do you think about this, Andy? Get a fucking life. Boxing <laughs> Nutters <laughs> Messenger Board. <laughs> uh, evening, Ed. Evening, Ed, man. <laughs> I heard that group chat is hopping, by the way. I heard it is fucking... I'm not in it, but I heard it was the Boxing yeah, Nutters Messenger Board. Yeah, I'm not in it either, mate. Oh, fuck's sake, man. I got, I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it, boys. Final few now, Andy, coming from you here. Tim Boxeo, fantastic main event in Queensland. Mark Flanagan uh, lost to Floyd Masson. and he got off the canvas to win this fantastic Argos belt. Two belts, two belts, mate. Oh. Get it right now. It's the Australian Cruiserweight title plus the yellow one, the, uh, the Australian National Boxing Federation Australasian 
cruiserweight title. So highly touted. Highly touted, mate. It incorporates part of Asia. Yeah. <laughs> the Christmas crackers. It should, it should incorporate the fucking bin as well. And Tay uh, Woodfine. Tay Wood, <laughs> Woodfine is nominated to Steffi Levy, pro boxer. She's not one to shy away from a tattoo dare. So she's going toe to toe, -toe with uh, Dave, the white rhino, Allen, who's back on the scene. And if this isn't Bell of the Week, it's a hell of a strong week, says Terry. It ain't going to be Bell of the Week, I'm afraid. We'll have thrown it in for you anyway. Uh, tattoo from the white rhino there, Rob. I've only seen like I don't want to fucking completely write her off because I don't know what she's like as a fighter, but I've only seen like clips of her and Dave Allen. It's a little uh, flirty banter that they're doing. I don't even know. Does Dave Allen do flirty banter? I don't know what's going on, but it's it's annoying as fuck. Like I'd be honest with you, it's like see that show. You know what it reminds me of, right? That show I fucking hated it. Uh, the fucking twenty somethings are all living in the house. What was your man? Jersey uh, Shore. No nah, fucking Jersey Shameless. Shore. No, Shameless. it was like um had some of them off Shameless in it, didn't it? It was like two packets of crisps and a pint of lager. That's what it's like. That <laughs> shit show. It's like that. It's like watching that show, listening to two of them fucking talking horrific. <laughs> like Game On or something. We're aging ourselves here. No, nah, Game On was good, man. It was no, uh... it's two packets, of, two pints of lager and a packet of crisps or something, some shit like that. Your man off Royal Family was in it, and the, and the guy that was fucking. Had a baby with your one off Coronation Street. Anyway, it was a shit show. It was a shit, shitty show. But that's what I like. Uh, I, I want to see this now for some goddamn reason. No, you don't. <laughs> these characters might have fitted in well. Uh, Jake Winterbottom, the belly of the week for Dennis McCann's Mars. <laughs> Horrific spray tan. Well, what was she? You got a picture? I, I haven't got a picture, Andy, I'm afraid. It was on BT last night. I couldn't. I can't cut directly off BT. They weren't letting me. Yeah, was... I used to see some of the young lasses I used to work with, and that honestly they used to come in every Monday morning, right? <laughs> and you could see their fingernails when they were actually that brown. Ah, yeah. Uh, it's just awful, mate. I, I, I wish I could take a fucking flamethrower to them. They just look horrible. <laughs> horrible, man. Fake bake or fucking what you caught. I'm just like, she's putting the fucking fake tan on one night and she, she misplaced her tanning glove and she put the fucking tanning glove on my sock. I got up, man, put the fucking socks on the next day. What, where the fuck? What? I took my sock off the other night. I was like, oh, what the fuck, man? I had a fucking just uh, a brown foot. That was my Native American name. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I see my daughter put my phone by, we should be getting <laughs> I had a partially orange foot. I don't know what that says to Andy, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Brown foot. Uh, speaking of Calm Brook, here we are. Uh, Kevin Chase said this to me. Finally, Can't yeah. take the credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> the Funnily enough, that's how I always envisaged Kel Brook ending up. That one, that picture right there. <laughs> the last hair. Oh, Cal Brook. Uh, another, <laughs> another few strong ones, boys, thrown in right at the end here. First the, of all... Those guys look like they're both getting ready to retire from the docks. <laughs> I, think, I think so. The Tyson Fury sculpture <laughs> is unveiled in Morecambe. It looks just like him. <laughs> what is that? Manchester. Oh, Tyson Fury sculpture. Well, well, that's Tyson Fury, is it? All right, look at it. I thought that was band. Like some sort of downpipe or something. Fighting, man. There's a band going now. From Stop trying to fucking make models of fighters and statues. It's not working. We need to go back to the drawing board. There's no fucking statue, effigy, <laughs> or fucking mold or sculpture looks like any of the fucking fighters. This is just taking a piss. This is like Morph just stretched out. What's going on? Why, why is he protecting his liver with his left arm? <laughs> yeah, yeah I right behind his back. What do... <laughs> they drain pipes or something. I was just thinking some sort of downpipe for the ring oh, like man. Yeah. I'm curious if you go and you piss in one of the pipes, where it would come out at? <laughs> I have no idea, but there you go. It's like one of that... them little mind tricks that they put on there, like fill it with water and which hole does it cut, fill up first? You need to plug in the water, period. Looks like one of them fucking projects of Art Attack that they start doing and you go out and start asking your mom, do you have pipe cleaners and all? She's like, what's yeah. wrong with you? Like, the fuck has pipe cleaners in the house? What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop it. <laughs> leave, the, leave the fucking... Uh, this was a bottle alone, you fucking psychopath. <laughs> Neil Buchanan off, off, uh, yeah, off yeah, camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are the days, man. Those I kind of wonder days. if you fucking put a bowl in there and fucking take some rips out of that son of a bitch. It's a good job. It's a good... We've seen worse. We've seen worse anyway. And uh, talking of seeing worse, Jimmy Tun, Ricky Gravel and a number of other people have sent this in. Ebony Bridges, a fan of mine, got my, tat my autograph tattooed on him. <laughs> An absolute Someone's... danger, that one, by the way. Christ, man, what? An absolute danger. Jesus Christ almighty. 
Lock up your daughters and everybody else. Even the <laughs> brilliant dogs, says, a brilliant says, Ebony. Well, it wasn't fucking, there wasn't a lot of words that came to mind, but that wasn't one of them. Do you think if you get somebody's signature tattooed on you, they're more or less likely to fuck you? <laughs> I don't know, but Ebony's going to have to invest in some personal security. I think. Oh, God, I, I love the way that he shaved his fucking belly as well afterwards <laughs> to get the after photo. Got, got lots of triathlon, says, man. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you. <laughs> That looks whack. Trail. That looks waxed like forty year old virgin style, and I hope he suffered through it. But here's the here's the thing about the the bronze bomber obsession. Like, you, like you have the internet now, man. There's loads of women. Like, what's the what's the fucking deal with the bronze bomber? Why are these fellas tattooing their bodies with our signatures? You got some kind of, I think it's what happens when you see the Phoenix, man. That's what happens when you see the Phoenix. But, you have to but, go get a tattoo. But most of the women on the internet that that exist either on the internet or real life don't have meet and greets. So you know, it, it's all about yeah. what you can actually come yeah. in contact with. Oh, these boys, she's gonna have to watch. Get the cameras up, maybe. Climbing the drain pipes to get into the house, Ed, but he's going to have to get the personal security involved. I think. <laughs> Look at that. It's got your man standing beside it as well. Like, yeah. Little Do finger. That, <laughs> Very safe as Tyson. It looks more like Wilder, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, no, dear. if that was the case, it would be laying down flat. <laughs> oh, Matty. Come on now. I love the guy too, but that, you know, good, good, good comedy is good comedy. It is indeed. Right. That is all the ones that I've got. Jason Chucky is in the chat. My life sucks, he says. No, it doesn't, Jason. Come on, you're with us. You're with friends here on a Sunday evening episode. You think it's bad now when you take your Spotify stats for the year? You're really going to yeah. run that home for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think actually, he, he, he's probably got the most numbers because he's probably switched it on and fucking fell asleep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he listens every episode three times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Autoplay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chukri. Right, that's all the ones that I've got. Uh, none from Aussie. Any from you, Matty? Uh, God, I got nothing. I think uh, I, I think I came across that Tyson Fury one at some point, and that was about it. Uh, none from Matty. There. Oh, Andy, I oh, wish whoa, whoa, whoa. you had the. I wish you had the video. Cut the video of that Billy, of that guy talking about Billy Joe Saunders fucking stabbing his kid in a street fight. No. <laughs> No, no, we're gonna we're gonna leave that one alone. Surprisingly, Matty, <laughs> leave that alone. Like Tony Bell, you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we'll that was so fucking captured bombed either. Fucking Dude, hell, Matty, we're gonna so... end up on bit shoot or something. Who was who was that guy? Anyway, sound like uh, his family the or Dungeons. monsters. He sounded Just hard as fuck. Fucking forget about it. Will you? What's my son, Matty? Everyone knows my son, Matty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently I can't nominate shit because if and I Canella bet you as well. The terms of use or something. Andy, rather, any I've, from you? I've got one mate. Uh, say for Tiafimo Lopez, who <clears throat> just seems to be going for strength to strength this week in the belly of the week stakes because, uh, shall we say, remember he was bagging on Lomachenko for coming up with the excuses for his uh, defeat to Lopez. Well, in the space of a week. We've had Lopez say that he's won. He won the fight ten two. He deleted his Twitter account. He's been putting out God uh, God quotes. His wife left him. ESPN's <laughs> put an article <laughs> saying that he's no well, and he shouldn't have fought. And he was like de- on death's door, right? He's going to emerge as a country shit. singer. Right? This is all in one week. This is all this, in one week. This see that by the way. The doctor said that he had some kind of uh, pneumonia fucking residue. I don't even know if that. That's not a medical term. It's like cervical fluid. Cervical fluid. <laughs> But uh, obviously, he had air between, in between his yeah, lung and his diaphragm yeah. or some weird shit. It's actually supposed to be very dangerous. Obviously, so it, the, I don't know. The, obviously, the doctor the said, the best, but come on. If the doctor serious, said he could he die. Well, here's the thing, though. It's thrown up. If this is real, all the commissions need to start scanning the lungs because the doctor said, yes, he did have a medical, but there's no way this could have been picked up without a lung x-ray. So the commissions are going to have to start fucking x-raying the lungs Ooh, of any fighters who've had COVID. Especially in New York COVID, and that Bob, yeah, yeah. Especially if, the, if there's a precedent set for this. As well as that, I looked into the doctor who made this statement that uh, she's an expert in breastfeeding. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what that says. And she's a f- uh, friend of Mark Kriegel from ESPN. But I don't know what well, that says. Well, he has a wine and baby, so. <laughs> so <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, lo- yeah, Lopez, man. Fuck me. Well, I might as well get my, my, my nomination there because mine is really... Oh, sorry, I think, go ahead, man. I think Joe Kennedy was saying, I think he also did a backflip after the fucking fight. <laughs> so, yeah, he did, apparently. He'd done a backflip when everyone had gone, yeah. So, he, look, he's, he's made weight, etc. He's been through a 12-round fight, right? If you're seriously... I, 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 
I, I, I've got my doubts that you can go through a 12 round fight and you've got a serious issue with, with your lungs like that. But as I said, hopefully everything's okay with me that. But ultimately, the excuses that you've basically chimed up here in the last week is more than what you did at, uh, than what Lobachenko did. Even with photographing and surgery and that. So just take the L to your female and fucking hang it about your neck and get on with it. I'm sure after yeah, twelve rounds of having no. the sh- I'm sure after twelve rounds of having the shit beat now to they can always find some some injury t- somewhere, <laughs> yeah. can't they? Yeah, of course. Well, Lopez Lopez fucking the belly of the week nominations are staying in the Lopez household because senior apparently evening Ed takes the Eddie Hearn after the fight and said to him, "What have you done?" <laughs> So accused Eddie Hearn of fixing the fucking cards against the Fimo Lopez. He said he texted him several times to ask him what he's done. Really doesn't mind because it's emotion. He says, you know, he understands the sport and he's very respectful of everyone's parents, apart from fucking Boo Boo Andrade. So if you say something about Canelo, he'll just shoot you down. Uh, but um, yeah, so Tia Fimo Lopez texted Eddie Hearn to say, what have you done? Absolutely fucking brilliant, that. Like, absolutely brilliant. Fuck's sake, get alive. <laughs> that was a fucking banger, a guy that fucking Lopez. I was, I was rereading some comments about Lopez Sr. and that. Remember, he was going on about the fact is um, they were arguing with top rank about the money, etc. And he says, This is just like what Muhammad Ali did. We're fighting for our rights. I'm like, Fuck off, dude. They say, You're fighting for more money. Ali was actually fighting for his fucking uh, religious belief, for fuck's sake. You know? That's in Bellew of the Year coming up, Andy. I've got oh, to say. Yeah, tremendous. Yeah. tremendous. This is closer to the Beastie Boys fighting for their rights. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Uh, so, Andy, all of yours yet? Yeah? Yes, me, mate. Uh, Bob, all of yours? I had that one and I had uh, Floyd typically uh, mentioning Canelo in an interview because he cannot fucking stand anybody else being the fucking face of boxing and uh, bringing up the fact that uh, Canelo is ducking David Benavides to go to Cruiserweight to beat Macabu. Uh, who's a guy who said that was kicked around the fucking Mayweather gym multiple times and that Benavidez would beat as well, which maybe, maybe he could be on or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe both of them beat Macabu, but Canelo's the money man, baby. And if you want that payday, yeah, 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 Floyd. That's just what it is, isn't it? I said Rob Floyd. Floyd knows better than anybody you know, what Canelo was yeah. all about. Like, he done it himself. Yeah, fuck. Exactly. We, people were crying for him to go to middleweight and fight Golovkin for fuck's mm-hmm. sake. Mm-hmm. That's right. Golovkin was talking about coming down to 154 to accommodate mm-hmm. him, wasn't he? I think so. Martinez offered to come down all the way to fucking welterweight, which I don't think he would have ever made. But um, God, Martinez against uh, Floyd at 154 would have been an interesting fight. Oh, that would have been, yeah, that would have been, actually. Anyway, uh, right. So who are we going for? I'm going to go for the one and only... It's got to be Lewis Deeks for me, Matty. Yeah. Go for. God, God, <laughs> it's a toss up between that and the Fury statue for me, Steve. You know, uh, it, it's a fuck. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, let's go over. We're going for the for the Joshua one. We're going for the Joshua. One. No, no, I take that back. Fury statue. Fury <laughs> oh. statue. One for Fury statue. One for Joshua. Rob, who are you going for? Are these AI robots are out of control, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> What's worse than an AI robot? An AJ robot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just following you around the place, going, take your vaccination, stay humble, uh, don't let CBD success... CBD oil. Yeah, CBD oil. Look don't let, don't let failure go to your heart. There may be some side effects that affect your heart. I don't... <laughs> when the world gets turned upside down, it gets turned back the other way around. <laughs> I, can, I can be Usyk in a rematch. I yeah. am programmed to be victorious. Yeah. <laughs> I have a triangle that goes time, quality, money. DVD. <laughs> That's a square. Yeah. Steve, I'll go for that guy. I know man. That guy can... Oh, yeah? Oh yeah, like honestly, that guy can go back to fucking combing his fucking ears, licking his eyebrows, man. Your man is de- he's delighted with it as well. Look at the fight pose; he is delighted with that. Look at that; that's the best thing ever happened. Look at that, man. Stay Fuck that, me. man. Fuck me. Oh, There's some big ears. Talk- I'm talking about as well, man. Fucking hell, <laughs> people are brushing their fucking the ears. The thing is, though, Andy, I like how he built up his body of evidence by jumping in on this one as well, calling Lou DiBella a sore loser because Eddie's smashing America. I know, eh? He didn't rest on his laurels. He got another one in there. <laughs> I have a feeling he could be someone that we need to be following. Or maybe he could be following Ebony Bridges soon, I think, or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Louis Deeks, you are the Bellevue of the Week winner for episode 452. 